Boom. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Morning Wood. So glad you could jump up on my wood. Today's going to be one of those throbbing, pulsating, probably not kind of shows. Now, it's going to be awesome. Um, I, I know Marshall's going to be with me tomorrow. I don't know who else. Uh, then Thanksgiving and Friday, Thursdays, Thanksgiving, of course, and I'm not going to do a show on Thanksgiving. I may go live at some point on Thanksgiving, but not Morning Wood. And then Friday, there's also no show. So if you want your morning wood, you better catch today and tomorrow because that'll be it. Uh, also, got a $40 stream go. $40 stream go. That's when you reach down in there in my PayPal link and tip, and I will read your messages at the end of the stream. Also, we got 28 days of pill mucks still going on. We got eight days left. Eight days left to buy me a gift. Amazon wish link in the description below. <clears throat> so I'm joined by... The pretty awesome, wonderful Marshall Manson. How you doing, buddy? Hello. I've only been gone for like three weeks or something. But yeah. Feels good to be back. It's been a minute since you've been on the wood. We're also joined by my lovely lover, my 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 axe throwing mama jamma, Mister Frank from the Geek Room. What's up, honey? How you doing? Hey, I need to come back on the Geek Room, man. It's been a while. Yeah, I, I got December open. I'm gonna get you back on on December. Hell yeah! Actually, yeah. I'm gonna be popping up on a few shows coming up pretty soon. And and the gig room's cool. You should go and subscribe to those folks. Yes, today. absolutely. Oh, I'm, I I think I may be on. Is it tonight or tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe tonight on um, Drunken Peasants with Jimmy Dore. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, I was asked to be on, so I don't know. We'll see. But we're also joined by the wonderful Mr. Science Man, volcano seeker, mathematical genius, and all kinds of other shit that I probably can't even pronounce, Mr. Landon No. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on your time zone latitude from your friendly secular astronomer. And hello there, great pet mom. That was a good intro right there, buddy. That's just all that good, smooth talk. Landon's got a DJ's voice anyway, I think. Yeah. Hey. It makes my pussy wet. <laughs> <laughs> right, and that's saying something. <laughs> yeah, because I don't even have a pussy. <laughs> so rapper 6ix9ine arrested on federal charges that could carry a life sentence. Good. Now we don't have to hear shitty music. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Hernandez, known as professionally as whatever his name is, 6ix9ine, or Takeshi, whatever the fuck, was arrested on weapons and racketeering charges, according to the to the state attorney's office and court documents. Hernandez was allegedly involved in an organized crime ring, accused of assault, shootings, robbery, and drug trafficking. God damn! Well, maybe boy. he's just trying to validate gangster rap. He, yeah. yeah, but he's not even a gangster rapper. <laughs> I just want to say one nice thing. Blame. Okay. See, a lot of people don't understand six nine. They don't get that. Like this dude is a, is a fucking to a, an extent one of the most successful trolls of all time. Um, he plays a really extreme character that's supposed to piss you off. It's supposed to make you hate him, so you keep your name his name in your mouth. Well, and it works. I hate him. It, yeah, people really hate him, and it works. He stays on. He stays in the discussion. His music yeah. all sounds the same. Why? So he oh, yeah. doesn't. He doesn't even need. To have good music as long as you just you're have. really close up to your camera. <laughs> yeah, I it's gonna be a booger. I can kidding. see your pores, man. <laughs> <laughs> um that's cool, bro. You ain't gotta move it. Hey, you're pretty to the girls, they like it, man. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, yeah, I know he was kind of a troll, dude, but it's just I don't like him. <laughs> So, so I guess his trolling successful. He is a, a very successful guy, though. I mean, really is. To quote the great six nine, I let my nuts hang. Uh, <laughs> well, to to quote that wrestler dude, Enzo Amore, I, I'm I'm grabbing my consensual penis. <laughs> Uh, you know, he got accused of rape. Then he came out with a rap song where he says, "I grabbing my consensual penis." <laughs> Dude, that was actually pretty good. It, like, was, got, it, it was all right. It wasn't. He, he wasn't like it, it got dropped because it, it was no evidence against him. Yeah. And he gets fired anyway. Then he comes out with a rap song. Then he comes back on Survivor Series and gets his ass tackled. By yeah, the guard. <laughs> yeah, security tackles his ass. Maybe he, like him just a little bit more. He's keeping his name out there is what he's doing. And, um, I, you know, it's going to work because the independent circuits are going to pick him up, man. They're going to work with him. So. 
I wonder, I was wondering if that's some kind of bit they're doing, like to kind of bring them back, maybe. I don't think so. I don't think so. It'd be, it'd be really good, though. Um, they should run with it. So here's the big story that I wanted to talk about. Ivanka Trump uh, sent, sent hundreds of emails about government business via her personal email account. Now, this wouldn't, I mean, it wouldn't be that big a deal to me if it wasn't, that's what Trump ran on. <laughs> I mean, that's what he constantly talks about. Well, I mean, I would also say that the man also uses his cell phone to conduct a business that foreign governments have been known to tap into, right? Mm -hmm. And they tell him to stop using it, and he just says, well, I'm Trump, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> It, 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 I think the thing that you have to worry about Trump is that he doesn't care whether or not he's consistent, doesn't care whether he lies. He just doesn't give a damn about, about the truth and will say anything and do everything that's necessary. He just has no compunction to lie, right? And, and he'll lie even when he doesn't have to. Yeah. And so, and so the, what's Trump going to do? Well... Trump's going to be the dumpster fire that will do something in Twitter. People will go and uh, 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 chime in and see whether or not, um, you know, Trump's going to say something. Right? Yeah. No, the guy's just going to go and mouth off. So, you know. Exactly. So what? What you think, Frank? Uh, like we were, we were talking about it before, like before we went live. Like he, even now to like, his little midterm re rallies that he's doing for some odd reason. They anytime they bring he brings up Hillary, the whole crowd goes lock her up. Yeah, what are they going to do now since fucking uh, Vanka was actually caught? Uh, fucking using her personal email for stuff that she's not supposed so, to. Well, so now, 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 Bill Hicks is correct that that there's a difference between using personal email. And a private server. Both are violations of, of how you might handle classified information. Mm -hmm. And the degree of violation is something that you'd have to see based upon the content. But um, and many times you do not, you know, a person may not have the authority to say, oh, this is okay, I can leak, leak this or leak that. Right? The other bit is, is, is public records. Right? Mm -hmm. when, when I was in public office, my communication as a public official was not mine, it was the office. And the, and the people had the right to that, you know, to understand what I was doing. Now, there are things where if you're negotiating a, a labor contract and you're, and, or you are um, evaluating someone's personnel, or you're dealing with, with a private matter of, of somebody saying, hey, you know, my mom is about to die. Can I have some time off? Mm -hmm. Things like that are considered sensitive. And so, but you're required to go public and say, we are having a private conversation with this employee for the purpose of discussing personnel actions. You go off, you do it, you come back and say, okay, we're done, right? Mm -hmm. You don't, you as an office holder, don't own your communication. The people do, and and that's the, the business thing about uh, private email, private uh, stuff. Is and I think one of the reasons why people sometimes like to do it is that they can have communication that isn't recorded. If you use the government accounts, that's all set up to take copies and archive those things, right? And um, the stuff that goes through clearance and say, oh, this is just the discussion about the turkey pardoning and the white house <laughs> they can leave, leave you know, release that quickly if it's something we're dealing with a uh, matter of high national security that'll be put in another spot but but that's the big that's the big deal it's not whether it's an email or server it's people oftentimes in government will use private channels to avoid having their communication recorded yeah Right, and and it has the appearance of trying to hide the communication. That's mm -hmm. it's, it's not it's not oh you're using stuff. I mean because it, it it perhaps they're able to get away with and show all the emails are just innocent stuff dealing with you know uh, charity events and whatnot. But that's not the case. The reason why they they have those things often is just to escape scrutiny. 
Yeah, and honestly, I don't think they're going to release. This. I don't think the the press or whichever organization got a hold of this is going to make a story out of you know innocent shit. There's there's got to be some stuff in there that's pretty hard. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what's it? And, and I like I think at Raising Girl, high 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 Raising Girl, um, said you know Trump's a troll. Yeah, but he's a troll that's a president. <laughs> he's, not a he's not like a troll that's a rapper. He's our president. We're fucked. Yeah, I don't care if a rapper's a troll. I care if a fucking president's a troll. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's fucked up. Uh, but I mean, I the man, I the man has no honor, yeah. no integrity, doesn't care whether he lies, doesn't care whether he upsets people, right? Here, here's a kid, for example, that the stuff that's going on in California with these fires. Mm -hmm. uh, the way you go about expressing that hey this is a tragedy i we feel for the families let's go and and provide credible assistance for those who are affected and then let's convene a study to figure out how we can minimize the, the forest burning rather than doing this stupid well the president of finland <laughs> rakes the forest so <laughs> hey, come on i mean have some class right but but no that's part of the charm that some people have is that 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 that, that he goes off as a goofball. Mm. I, 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 I don't mind if this was, you know, wrestling. This was yeah. Jesse Ventura <laughs> doing kayfabe. But, but as, as, as you said, he's the president, right? Yeah. Have some class. Oh, yeah. I, he's I saw, yeah, go ahead, Frank. No, I was going to say, I saw a tweet from somebody from actually Finland that uh, retweeted the, his, his, his speech. He was like, one, trolls an uh, Trump's an idiot. Mm. Two, we don't fucking rake our forces. <laughs> like, just calling them out. I was always just that's funny. I mean, yeah, he's he says ridiculous shit like the shit he said a couple weeks ago about uh vote of uh, you know you should have a voter ID because you have to have an ID to buy a box of cereal. Yeah, and and then he'll turn around and say I never said that, right? Yeah. And then he'll go and, and, and say that's an unfair question and ban you and all this. I mean it's just again, yeah, um, okay. the man is man does not care whether he lies or not. Exactly, exactly. It's crazy. But yeah, I got the perfect segue. Speaking of Cheetos, <laughs> <laughs> a recipe for flaming hot Cheeto turkey is making the rounds. Uh, apparently, some people are like, like what the fuck are y'all doing? Some people are like, I want to try this, but I want to give you a visual of the fucking thing. It's a turkey rubbed with uh, like flaming hot Cheetos. And uh, there it is. Um, it looks diseased. Mm. It looks too crusty. It looks nah. I mean, look, I like flaming hot Cheetos a lot, <laughs> but I don't want them on my fucking turkey. Eh? <laughs> that, hey, that, that that orange is not from cayenne pepper or something. That orange is from something yeah. that makes it glow in the dark. So yeah, that's very a, that's a stoner's very Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's a stoner. Well, that's a, a stoner's <laughs> turkey for sure. That's some dude that was so hot. I'm gonna roast some Cheetos in this turkey, bro. But uh, yeah, it's crazy. I try fuck. I don't know. <laughs> well, you're a stoner. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't try if it was there. But like, okay, my oh, my, I would my, try my, it. My okay. interest is kind of peaked, but I just don't, I don't think it's gonna be that good. Exactly, I don't think it's gonna be <laughs> delicious. But I mean, Trump on a plate because he is an orange turkey. That's for sure. So, yeah, that's crazy looking, though, dude. It's just absolutely crazy looking. So let's go over here. I had another story pulled up, but I lost it. I lost it. But I was going to say, yeah, that's sort of, yes, that's sort of the various things that are happening uh, on there. By the way, uh, just because people know that, that since I can't eat, eat turkey, what are going to do for, for Thanksgiving? One of the things that's really nice uh, of restaurants that are actually open Mm -hmm. are Indian, in our place, a lot of Indian restaurants or Indian Pakistani stuff. So, so you get some, they get some really fantastic uh, feasts and foods there. So I'm going to have a big, you know, sort of curry thing, doses and so forth for my yeah. Thanksgiving. Get some tofurkey. Cool. Like. Tofurkey? Tofurkey. <laughs> Actually, I like that stuff, by the way. There, yeah. There's some stuff that's not too weird. Because you're right. fucking weird. That's why you're that, right. that, that and an Impossible Burger. That's, if you've ever had an Impossible Burger, that is really good stuff, right? Because... Uh, yeah, uh, I actually miss having having the meat. What is an impossible burger? It's a it's a <laughs> it is it it's it's a it's a it's a vegetarian 
of a burger, but they oh. process it in a way that really is quite um, quite amazing, and oh. and it'll actually fool people into thinking it's a real burger. I mean, the textures and so forth. It's a it's a it's a process that they've been slowly wrapping up, but it's called an Impossible Burger, and it's showing up in various places around the country. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, I try. As, and having, as I say, having been both carnivore and now not, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's one of those uh, close things that I Because I, like. I will so, admit, about vegetarian stuff, I will be the first one to tell you, I'm a meat eater, right? I like my meats. But when I was in California visiting Landing here at, uh, in San Jose, he in San Francisco, he took me to a, a vegetarian place. I forgot the name. Something green. What greens. It? Greens at Fort Mason. Yeah, greens at Fort Mason. And, dude, that food blew me away. I ate this like veggie pizza thing, and that was one of oh. the. Oh, it was so fucking good! I mean, the, the they took the mushrooms, like the portobello mushrooms, and made them taste like sausage. Yeah, and it was yeah, so no. fucking good. Well, you know, mushrooms got that meaty feel anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's some places that can do it pretty well, and there's some frozen stuff that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, when I used to be vegan, I would eat the uh, was it not Morning Star, but it's another brand. Um, yeah, it was like buffalo chicken, and you couldn't tell. It, it tasted just like regular buffalo chicken, yeah. but it was made out of soy stuff. And it was, I mean, some of I still eat it today, yeah. but I'll still eat a burger from McDonald's if I can. See, I had to say, if, if I could do if I could do the meat and the steaks and all those things, I'd, I'd do it, but but I can't. So so I had to say this like this Thanksgiving, I'll I will be out at a Indian restaurant, uh, ethnic Indian restaurant, showing out on dosas and. And Papa Dog. That stuff's good too. Curries, um, those things. It'll be cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to be a simple Thanksgiving this year. I think we're just going to like eat turkey sandwiches or something. I don't know. I know mom's. Well, she's got a turkey and a ham she's going to cook. And uh, I don't know what else. So, does Bob and Pimp have a special turkey recipe that she does? Or uh, she, uh, well, I, I do know she cooks upside down turkey. Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't. She cooks it upside down. I do know mm -hmm. that, and uh, some other stuff. I don't know what else she. She makes her own little rub. I know that, and stuff like that. I don't ask her her recipes. I just let her go and do her thing, and I just eat the shit. Yeah, yeah, but no, <laughs> but she doesn't. Mama Ben doesn't do Cheeto rubs. She, she no, she ain't be doing no Cheeto <laughs> rubs. And she also <laughs> refuses to do a stuffed turkey. She does not stuff a turkey. She makes yes. turkey and the dressing, turkey and dressing. Dressing right. on the side, you know. I, I don't like stuffed turkey. I've ate stuffed turkey before and I don't care for it. And 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 that's also an excuse that some people do for not actually not properly cooking the turkey. Well, yes, exactly. It covers up the bad taste of the fucking turkey. And because if you don't <laughs> cook a turkey right, it will go dry as fuck. You have uh, to yeah. you have to check that temperature constantly. Dry turkey is the fucking worst. It is, dude. But you get that good moist juice turkey, and I'm gonna tell you ain't nothing better. Then leftover turkey sandwiches. Yeah. Get it's like you a, sets in your mouth. Yeah, get you a slice of tomato. Oh my god. Yeah, and economical <laughs> too. I mean, when I was a you know a young college kid, um, my thing about being being able to get enough to eat was to going out and I'd buy whole turkeys and then I cook them in the dorm oven, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd have for a long time. Really good uh, turkeys, and so there's ways you can do that. Oh and yeah. So I then, and then I would talk to chefs and people saying, "Hey, how do you do turkeys?" Right. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of people that really know how to do it well, so yeah. you have no excuse for her. Raisins talking about tent the bird. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. But, uh, but there's a lot of different little tricks. Like yeah, my mom doing the foil, you know, cover the foil tent to get to, yeah. to keep the stuff in there. But, yep. but a lot of people don't know this, but if you cook it upside down, the meat's usually juicier. Yeah, you turn it over instead of cooking, you know, breast up, cook it breast down. It's pretty good shit. I'm telling you, I've also you know I've eaten drunken turkey. Ever eat drunken turkey? Mm -hmm. It's good. Deep fried turkey is pretty good too. Barbecued. You know, barbecued turkey is good. Now, when you barbecue or deep fried turkey, you really do have to be careful about the temperature of it. You got to tend the bird and keep yeah. it going, and you got to cook it exactly through, you know, through throughout and not have little bits of yeah yeah. And I'm gonna tell you something when you when you carve the turkey, if it don't got that little pop on the like, oh, when you go stick your knife in it, it don't pop. That motherfucker yeah. ain't good. <laughs> it's gotta have yeah. that little yeah. pop. The pop, yeah. turkey pop. Oh yeah, turkey pop. 
Uh, I got too excited on that. So, so cranberry sauce, right? Do you do the oh, cranberry I, sauce? That, that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'll die. I, I'm, a, I'm definitely <laughs> allergic to cranberries. <laughs> I can't. Uh, but when you did cranberries, did you do the cranberries that was the uniform, like a jello uh, type the, thing? Or well, did you do the ones with all the little bits and pieces in it? Uh, both. Well, both. Yeah, both. A lot of times now, <laughs> I, sometimes my mom makes fresh cranberries. Oh shit. yeah, shit. with with the fresh berries and all that. You my mom's a cook, that. dude. My mom's a cook. Yeah, uh, she, she that knows how to good. throw them. She knows how to. Throw, but see, now, I used to not be allergic to them. But you're a lot of people don't know this, but your immune system changes like your taste buds. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you know how like sometimes you, you like something and all of a sudden you can't stand it or you used to. Well, your t your immune system changes as well. And I didn't. I, my immune system changed, and I ate cranberries and some shit one time. And I almost died. God damn! Are you serious? Yeah, y'all, you were no. I mean, it was bad. No, no I, I believe you, but damn. Yeah, it was it was bad, dude. My eyes swelled up. I couldn't see. My lips was like coke cans. My throat started swelling up. It was horrible. <sighs> I itched all. Over. It was the worst. It was one of the worst times I ever had in my life. And was, and and you had a doctor that was basically wanting to give you medicine that actually had. <laughs> yes, she wanted to give me a medicine. She yeah. told me, and this, this is what this stupid cunt did. <laughs> she told me it was my blood pressure medicine that I've been taking for 11 oh, years. Yeah. She told me it was my blood pressure medicine <laughs> to quit it. And then she gave me a medicine that had a fucking cranberry chemical in it. And then I was like, okay, I'll take this. And it got worse. And then my mom rushed me to the emergency room and they was like, uh, it's the cranberry stuff. And I was like, oh, fuck. This bitch is crazy. She's trying to kill me. But it, right, it was right. bad. So yeah, when everybody enjoys their little cranberry sauce Thursday, I'm gonna be standing in a sag. I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck uh, all that. That's fucked. That is fucked, dude. You are you, any you like you really allergic to anything? I haven't found out that way if I'm allergic to anything like that or not. Um nah, yeah. not that I know of. I hope not to find out that way. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I might be very allergic to, to penicillin. Uh, one of the things that they uh, they have they've been seeing now is that allergies to penicillin runs in the family, and I've got allergies to penicillin on both sides of the family. So the uh, the only time I had penicillin was in you know when it was in the op when, during the operation because mm -hmm. um, probably the, with the interaction of penicillin is you go into anaphylactic shock and you can get your heart stopped. But mm -hmm. at the time when they had had me, I had my chest ripped open and my heart ripped out. They didn't care whether my heart stopped because it was already stopped anyway. So it was in the fucking hand. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 yes. Um, for for the meat stuff, on the other hand, um, what happens if I get you know, you know beef or pork or, or poultry and so forth is that my digestive system says no 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 no, and um, I get the green apple splatters. Let's put it that way. Ah, Ooh. that's nasty. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, and if anybody out there, uh, let me explain to you. If you are, you need to find out what kind of medicines you're allergic to because when they're in an emergency room and like something's bad, they don't know, they'll give you stuff. Um, but my, see, see, that's what killed my baby brother. It was an allergic reaction to a shot that they gave him. But yeah. my, my brother was very young, so my mom didn't have no idea. Right. Sure. And, and they gave him a shot. He came home and he died. So uh, you know, yeah. So be get, be very careful about that shit, man. Because you could die, and death is permanent. Yeah. So so it's it's and the thing is, is I, what I tell tell them is I am very I, I, it's very likely that I have a you know, allergy to penicillin, mm -hmm. and that I, the only time I should have it is under direct you know hospital super, supervision so we reserve it for the for the time of the big where the big guns come out and what i recommend is whatever you're allergic to put it on a little card and put it in your wallet or your purse or whatever because yeah. the, they tend to check those things that's because a lot of and, and see if you're allergic to anything so have a little card there of what you're allergic to yeah it's a good so, thing. so so pet monks allergic to to cranberries and uh, non tippers. Yes, I'm people, <laughs> people who do not buy him gifts 
for, for the 28 days of Pen Month. And we only got eight days left. Come on now. I got some new gifts. I'll show you a couple of them right here. I got We're this. Hives. I got this yesterday. Oh, oh hey. Yeah, my Green Bay Packer cap. I got that. I got that lava lamp back there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see yeah. it right now. Uh, anyway, it's a lava lamp. Yeah, ladies. It's right behind you. I also got this. It's an SD card, oh. 128 gigabyte. Uh, oh, I got some sunshades somewhere around here. And some other things. I got Oh, brand new pair of shoes is pretty nice, too. I appreciate nice. that. These shoes have memory foam in the fucking shoes, dude. In the shoes. Dude, in the dude. shoes. I, I got a pair of shoes like that. That shit is the best feeling in the world. You put them on, it's like, ah. Oh. Yeah, I haven't even worn them yet. I, I slipped them on and said they fit right, and they did feel really good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going to wear them soon. But there's other things, too. I forget what all I got. But I got, like, 10 gifts, and I usually average out 28 gifts. Uh, like, last year, I averaged out, like, 50 gifts because it was 40 days of, yeah. uh, for 40 years. But y'all need to start buying some goddamn gifts, and y'all also need to tip me make, make that $40 stream go. Because Bastards. if I make the $40 stream go, I will sing. A love song to Frank. Oh, I'll no, I'll, 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 I'll give him a, a poem off the top of my head. A love poem. <laughs> hey, that's so, cool, uh, yeah, it's better because it's from the heart. Andrew cock. And my cock. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, science. Scientists. Since Landon's a scientist, scientists uncover why wombat poo is cube shaped. <clears throat> wombat. Is that a <laughs> yeah, this Go is ahead. serious. Wombats are, are are the only animal on Earth uh, mysteriously shaped cube, cube poos. Poos. Researchers have now discovered more details about why and how the Australian marsupi does it. I don't say okay. Wombats marsupial. Are only, marsupial. Sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. stupid. I'm an idiot. Can't read nothing. Uh, wombats are the only animals in the world with us. Says the same thing. I don't know why. It's, it just oh. In general, wombats use their poo to mark their territory like many other animals. They also use it to attract potential mates. But no longer, no one has been able to work out how they get it to be shaped like a cube until now. Well, how the fuck did they do it? Don't say where. As, as, as oh, I here it is. Go ahead, go ahead. By alternating stiff and stretchy regions in the lower intestine. Okay, it has to do with the colon and how yeah. it's done. Where... where not only does it do the have the sphincter that pinches it off, chops it off in night spots, but the back pressure pushes it. So really you get the, the I, and I've seen wombat poop. It's, it's not really cube like a dice. It's sort of like rounded a little bit, but flattened little bits of cylinders on there. It's, like, it's weird. <laughs> wow. Damn. You know, the question is why would, a, would an animal evolve um, I mean, because you could sit there and say, well, you could, you know, build blocks out of it, but but they don't play with their poo, uh, as far as I know. They, they I play with my poo. <laughs> Especially a couple weeks ago when I had that poop champagne experience. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, now, now you know, when when you're in Antarctica and you've got to, you know, make make your Mr. Hanky pellets, then you get to play with your poo by, by squeezing out, but that's um, that you get actual little, you know, cylinder chunks because um, you got to squeeze. Basically, we're we're squeezing the water out, but yeah. you leave the water behind. Is is the is the deal? Squeeze your poo. Remember yeah. what you got to do. You got to squeeze your poo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what do you do with the doo doo? Here's something happy from the Massachusetts people. The first recreational marijuana stores in Massachusetts are now open. Uh, they, they, they legalize it over here. I'm gonna be the first one to open up the fucking store. I can tell you that. You gonna be the first one to buy? <laughs> no, I'm gonna be opening open up store. my own store. I'll be sampling the products, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Go ahead. So, so the you know when do you think it's going to be you know legal at a federal level? <sighs> Ooh, I. <laughs> The, I know Trump has kind of softly been signaling that he might do it. I just think that's only because he wants to get reelected, though. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, I kind of I don't think he'll do it. I, I it'll happen eventually. I just don't know. Maybe in the next twenty in the, within the next twenty years, I think. Probably, yeah. Um, 
I, I know that Alabama will be the last state on earth to go marijuana legal. You don't think it'll be Georgia? No, I think it'll be uh, Alabama. Well, even Georgia now has some, uh, I think Atlanta has some sh- less strict laws if you're carrying under yeah. an ounce. I think well, it's like NC. Atlanta fucking, that's what they did. They you, you can have like a small amount and just get away with a ticket, but like cops are still arresting people anyway. Yeah. Fuck those state laws. Uh, Mississippi will be like next to the last, and Alabama will be. Yeah, they suck. Southern states suck when it comes to that kind of stuff, and yeah. it's all about religion. We're the last to get all the cool face. shit, dude. I mean, there's still dry counties for alcohol here in Mississippi and Alabama and stuff. So Damn. it's just so weird. I live in a county where half of it's dry and half of it's wet. Because, well, because I live in well, the town I live in, not the county, the town. Because the town I live in is half Lee County, which is wet, and half Prentice County, which yeah. is dry. So it's just slightly moist. Yeah, slightly moist. Yeah. And I actually live on the edge. I actually live on the dry side, but I can walk across the fucking edge <laughs> line. So, yeah, so I, if, 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 if I were on the Supreme Court, I would uh, de- declare these you know, dry county stuff to be unconstitutional. Yeah. And, and my, my theory would be the repeal of prohibition was a federal you know, matter across the, the states and, and by that extension, um, restrictions on the sale of alcohol therefore are, are unconstitutional. The other thing that I think is unconstitutional is the fact that certain states can't ship alcohol to other states. Mm-hmm. Right? So, so for example, you can't ship alcohol from California to Idaho. Um, and if it's hard liquor or certain types of things, they have all these crazy stuff in there. And I think, you know, prohibition was ended and I think they basically need to terminate all those wacky stuff like, you know, state stores and, and alcohol clubs and other stupid stuff that they have. Yes, sir. Just my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Um, I do know that earlier you said that you was going to be leaving uh, like an hour. We're probably not going to go much more than an hour today anyway. So just want the audience to know that. You get a short morning wood. Yeah, a little, a little short stubby. <laughs> it's not full wood. It's just flaccid. Half a dick. Yeah. Half a dick. So so I, I've been hearing, speaking of legalization in Canada, that there, um, there's such now, uh, you know, Consumer demand for cannabis, the cannabis kind of is is having to try to import it in, which I think you know from from the U.S., which of course is illegal crossing the border. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know they have kind of a, this this antibody crisis up there. Um, yeah, I don't think people are are fully prepared for when they legalize it. Uh, how much people would want it because that happened in uh, Nevada. Yep. Like they legalized it and they ran out not even within a month. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh-huh. So I think, I don't think people are really, when they legalize, I don't think they're ready for this, uh, how much demand it is. And that should go, that should show the lawmakers <laughs> right there that, I mean, it's not just those states, every state wants it. And, and, and the money that's going to, it's going to make, you know, for like Mississippi, marijuana would be a fucking gift oh yeah yeah i mean because we're so poor right now our state is so fucking poor marijuana would be a fucking gift but you know jesus don't like joints (laughs) i call bullshit on that yeah (laughs) yeah you think jesus likes you you think jesus was a stoner (laughs) yeah he had to be yeah okay i got a song about that I'm going to make it up right now. <laughs> Jesus was a stoner, walked around with his boner, ate turkeys with Cheetos on it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was nice. That was very that was beautiful. Beautiful. It, was, it, it deserves a tip. It does. Uh, that's at least a $20 tip. Right that's there. at least a $20 tip right there. That's half yes. the stream go right there. That's that's quality, quality uh, singing there. Quality, quality entertainment. Lyrics. There you go. Are you not entertained? <laughs> if anyone of you say no, fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? I tell you what, uh, I gotta get that damn. I have lost 
the 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 file of the song that I was working on with Marshall. <laughs> I have oh, lost no. the lyrics uh -oh. and everything. The uh -oh. lyrics. Uh -oh. oh, good yeah. Lord. Lord. Oh, so I'm boy. gonna have to like <laughs> redo it because <laughs> I I've lost everything. Well, if you if you need the instrumental, I'll I do. Get it to you. I'll, I'll get it to you. Yeah, I definitely. Damn, man. I know, man. I got you. Got a lot of <laughs> shit going on in my life right now. <laughs> A lot of crazy shit. I mean, like I'm, I'm having sex with an old woman. I, think, I'm not. I don't know why I even said that. That was stupid. I believed you. I don't know why you had to. Yeah, I was, I was, I, I was, you know, convincing there. I've been watching a lot of Gordon Ramsay shit lately. Dude, yeah, I, I love watching that. this stuff. Gordon Ramsay is a. I love that dude. I used to, see. I, I used to not like him when I started watching his stuff, but he really grows on you. Like you, I'm addicted you to the fucking guy, man. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I'm addicted. He's like the Simon Cowell of the food world. I like Kitchen Nightmare, Kitchen Nightmares more than Hell's Kitchen. Oh, yeah. and, uh, I like uh, uh, my Master Chef. Too. I like Master Chef. Yeah, good show. Where home cooks become Master Chefs is pretty awesome shit. I like to watch him verbally berate people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. what are you, an idiot sandwich? <laughs> I like when he tells that one girl on that Master Chef. He's like, "This tastes like a dehydrated dog turd." <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So right now, I'm looking at my wish list. Right now, I'm expecting two gifts to come in. Two more gifts. This last. I got a sign. I know who bought it now. She messed up. She asked me, did your gift come in? I was like, what is it? She said, a Coke uh, sign, and then and they didn't come in yet. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it is nice. And also, I got an electric blanket coming in, so... Oh wow, that's yeah. so, that's gonna be handy for those cold. Uh, that's from Mama Pim. Yeah. Oh, that's for that's right for this from Mama Pim. Yeah, right, have I, you? I, you know, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, man. No, I was gonna say, have you seen now they're coming out with the uh, electric blankets for the car? Hmm. Uh -oh. That's dangerous. You know, you get nice and toasty, you can fall asleep, and you get like under that blanket. That's gonna cause a lot of fucking wrecks. Probably. So. Yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Dude. Yeah, you better shut off when the engine shuts off too, because otherwise that that should drain drain your battery pretty well. Yeah, yeah they, they, they got all kinds of weird stuff coming out with Tane. I like the refri. I don't get these smart refrigerators. <laughs> I don't see why you'd want one. Yeah, that's a little much. I mean, you can. I mean, but you can type your grocery list in. You can write it on a fucking piece of paper. Yeah, you can have the the refrigerator go and and order your your resupplies. That's that, that's some goddamn Terminator shit right there, man. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm telling you, you need to quit making this shit. These machines are gonna turn on us. Yeah. Look, it's now, gonna Pimmo's gonna get one and it's gonna order him cranberries. That's how the hell it's gonna yeah. turn. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna start, dude. It's gonna just grab me and just start stuffing fucking cranberries yeah. down my goddamn throat, and I'm gonna yeah. swell up. By a refrigerator. Yeah, it's this it's dangerous world out there, man. Smart cars are gonna drive off cliffs and shit. Yeah, fucking smart houses now where you can say house lock up and the motherfucker locks itself up. It's gonna lock your ass in, you ain't gonna be able to get out, and it's gonna kill you with a smart refrigerator. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, I mean refrigerators need to be cold, not smart. Yeah, and now they got these refrigerators where you just tap on the fucking refrigerator and it goes from undark to where you can see inside the refrigerator. It's like a screen, a camera recording the food on the inside. It's, what the fuck? Just open the goddamn door. I mean, seriously, why do you need that? Well, you need an app on your phone saying, I feel hungry, and it and interfaces with your diet and so forth to say, okay, you can eat half of this container that's on the third shelf in the back, blah, 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 blah. I mean, if you're that retarded... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, look, I'm a fat, I know what's, look, I'm a fat dude, I know I don't do it, but I know what's healthy, and I don't need a refrigerator telling me that shit. A refrigerator saying, you only have half a pizza. I know, I ate the motherfucker. <laughs> well, then you put that intelligent refrigerator in your intelligent car, uh, and, no. and so then the, the car is driving while your refrigerator is talking to you, and you can pull stuff out, um. You can go fuck yourself, raising girl. <laughs> I like that idea. It keeps your fridge cool. cold. Well, don't you ain't got to keep the door open for forty-five minutes. She's open, looking, and shut the son of a bitch. 
it's becoming more and more possible to not have to do anything at all like all these smart devices like alexa and your smart fridge and all this shit like pretty wow. soon you'll be able to ju- we'll get like wally yeah people, and wally who yeah. like don't have you to remember, do anything well, and i'm telling you what's going to end up like you remember that movie i don't know what it was called but bruce willis was in it where they set it home and these they had these like avatars living the lives for them and they rec- yeah yeah work yeah. it's pretty cool but i did say huh <laughs> Until we're halfway there. Yeah, we're going that way, man. I'm telling you, smart. But we're all gonna die. These smart devices are gonna kill. It's gonna be like maximum overdrive. This shit's gonna start killing us. Well, you, what yeah. you need, pimp, is yeah. one of those chips in your arm, and then like you can just walk up to what your kind of chip, laser mark of the beast. Yeah, you get the mark of the beast. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's always shit. Yeah, they see, and there's people saying that too. You know that, right? Those chips that people are saying that's the mark of the beast. Yeah, <laughs> they've already. Um, yeah, I hope someone has it flash six 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 on you just just yeah. because. I bet you at least one southern state is going to outlaw them in the right hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, I think I'm the Antichrist to be honest with you because the Antichrist. Yeah, I am the Antichrist because I'm gonna. My last three social security numbers are six six nine. <laughs> yes. Just flip that nine upside down. I'm the there devil. I'm fucking Lucifer. I'm I think pimpin- that means you're Ronald Reagan. That means I'm Pimpus Christ is what it means. So Raisin said she's traded her flip phone for a smartphone, finally. And well, I ain't got it. a fucking phone. That's what somebody needs to buy me and put me on this. I need a... Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Somebody paid the clock. <laughs> Good um, job. To honor the clock. Landon knows sent 40 bucks. Thank you, sir. There you go. You're welcome, kindly. All these pussies in the chat room need to follow your lead. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Tip, if you please. Oh, yeah, please tip, man. So there's, there's a bunch of new movies, trailers that's come out, and the only one that I've seen that I want to watch is the new Creed movie. Creed 2, because he's going to be fighting the Russian sun. Mm. That does look real good. It does. And the first Creed was awesome. Yeah. Which I'm a Rocky fanatic. Anything that evolves around Rocky, I'm a fucking freak about. I'll be honest with you. Um, I I seen the trailer to Aquaman or whatever it's fucking call. That looks ridiculously. Stupid. Aquaman sucks. You can't make it cool. <laughs> I don't know. I like I like Jason Momoa's Aquaman. If it, anybody can bring uh, Aquaman to look somewhat interesting, I think he could. You just think he's sexy. You just want to fuck. Oh, no, I'll, I'll fuck the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> what else have I seen? That There was another big fucking trailer. Uh, there's coming. a Pikachu movie that's coming. Oh, that yeah. Looks fucking oh, stupid. Dear. And, oh, it's, dear. and it's got Ryan Reynolds playing Pikachu. All right. I'm, go- I'm going to go just to watch it. Just for just because I will always want to see a live action uh, Pikachu movie. And so that's kind of like filling one of the fancies. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but it I'll looks not. pretty cool it. visually. Playing it as in as in the voice or or yeah, yeah, no, he's he's, he's, up as. no, he's playing as the voice like, of Pikachu. Pikachu doesn't walk okay. around like Pika Pika. Like it's like Ryan Reynolds is fucking Deadpool in a detective. <laughs> yeah, it's actually like Deadpool because he's fucking talking shit and stuff. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's not, it doesn't look good. But now I have seen the new trailer of the movie Vice. Have you seen that? It's about no. Dick Cheney. It looks good. It yeah, looks. It, good. I want to watch it because you know, Dick Cheney's a piece of shit, but <laughs> his story is fucking interesting. Didn't Dick Cheney <laughs> fucking shoot some guy while hunting? Yep. <laughs> yep. He did. He did. <laughs> he did. And yeah, he his, had, his gun safety uh, is a little bit to be desired. Yeah, and it's in the movie. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's happened like this because you all know it's fucking. You know, it, it says. Based on a true story, but they take poetic license like a motherfucker. But it's, yeah. it's showing Bush and Cheney sitting at the fucking um, uh, table, and, and Bush is asking Cheney to run with him as vice president. He said, "Well, most vice presidents do nothing, but I'll only do this if you let me take care of this, 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 and that." And accordingly, Bush agreed to it. But I kind of believe it because Cheney was more active than any vice president I ever seen in my life. Yeah, uh, it was more or less of a Dick Cheney presidency that was run through bush yeah so i mean he, he was calling the shot he was over the military and every fucking thing dude he was just yeah. like he was the boss 
He shot him in the face, Bill. Yeah. Yes, yes. It was a <laughs> hunting accident, and it sort of was. I think. I think again, it was a. It was a pellet. You know, pellet shot. <laughs> Yeah, and it sort of went off. Now, I, I don't know about the things about how the accident occurred, but you know, they all say it was unintentional, and the guy that he shot said it didn't, you know, it was an accident. But it's, it's, it's one of those, it's one of those, it would be a redneck story if it wasn't for the fact that it was Cheney. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious here, right? But, you know. <laughs> we all are, got your mind in the gutter. Oh, <laughs> I don't even think it's that. It's just the way he came he up and said, said it. it. I don't know. He shot him he in the face. <laughs> anyway, this is why you need a tip because we've got this quality programming here. We we take serious subjects seriously or serially if you're Al Gore. Okay. Oh, <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, give me a kiss, you man. Oh, shot him in the fucking face. <laughs> Landon, I love Damn you, man. dude. You kept talking so straight. <laughs> Someone has to do the straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> me and Penn's in there to like crying because the way he fucking said it, <laughs> Landon just kept going. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cause we were talking about something. We don't move on. He come in. He shot him in the fucking face. <laughs> I couldn't, dude. Uh, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry, but I, have I love you so awesome. often. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. So tip for that, right? Come on. Oh uh, yeah. I I held. I kept a. I kept a straight <laughs> face. <laughs> Oh yeah, he landed did keep a straight. Landon's land is like stone, dude. <laughs> and I don't do that much. It's it's very. I mean, that's been like the third break of ever the comic laughing break of ever. Had. The first one was with a uh, fucking Rob DeRusso. No, not Rob DeRusso. Uh, Fat boy, what's his name? Holberger. <laughs> yeah. Holberger started dancing, and I broke out. And then Red Eye said something one time that made me break. And then now that. Yeah, so you should you should you should retitle this "Shot him in the face." Shot him in the face. <laughs> I probably will, but that would get me kicked off YouTube. <laughs> probably. So. He, how about how about he chained him in the face? He him. <laughs> yeah. From now on, if anybody gets shot in the face, we're gonna say he got chained. <laughs> uh, speaking of getting kicked off YouTube, um, uh, uh, my uh, suspension from on the main channel is over December eighth. Right. Be, uh, so I should be suspended again by December 12th. Uh, <laughs> well, they'll probably unsuspend you by Christmas. And because, yeah. you know, they they, 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 they seem to be oh, long yeah. on it. But you're, you've got that uh, PC that you're going to go and um, get set up eventually. Yeah, I got. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be setting this up pretty soon. The legs are getting to a point to where I can probably do it pretty soon. And. I'm gonna be doing some different stuff. Uh, I'm gonna be doing the morning wood on Twitch, but also gonna be doing a night show. I don't know if it's gonna be on YouTube or. No. So we're gonna figure that out. And for those that that participate in buying him the the PC and all the little peripheral video, yeah. that's part of the thing of why is it here yet is that you know Pimp Monk needs to be well enough to be able to move the equipment around and get things set up. So exactly. it'll get there. He's he's healing. Yep. And and that that PC is going to be used. So thank you again for the folks who who bought that stuff. Yeah. And if you don't tip, we're gonna chain your ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, projected in the face, but can have so many meetings. What? Oh, projectile. Projectile. Okay. I need glasses so goddamn bad. I gotta go to the fucking eye doctor. That's just a fact. I, I I'm I'm so off track by laughing so hard. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Right now. <laughs> you're on the morning wood, and you're trying to get people to tip, and yeah. you're trying to get people to buy you gifts for your 28 days, yeah. and you're having fun. And I'm having fun. That's what this is about. Is having fun, man. 
this show was created to have fucking it ain't always reading the same news articles and shit like that. we sometimes kick shoot the shit like we've been doing this morning and laugh and sometimes we commit rape i uh, know we don't do that <laughs> So, oh so God. let's say there's, there's certainly been some uh, whatever sort of goofball news yeah. that's been around. There's a lot of goofballs. <laughs> I mean, you have to have at least one thing about Florida because that's kind of when you have the news <laughs> weird. It has to be something with Florida. Yeah. Florida news. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's something. <laughs> we'll look it up right quick. Uh, but Tim's going to have, gonna have a new segment called What the Fuck, Florida. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Uh, Skip Talk has a Florida man something. And I'm looking. Of course, there's going to be the, the, the weird stuff that happens up with, with people, you know, weird questions that people call up uh, about, about cooking turkeys. Um, yeah. I've heard, you know, people that, that are on that, like the, the turkey hotline. To get you know weird questions yeah, about it. that's funny i'm not seeing how florida skull collecting ants and trap their prey well i don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and um you know that 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 like the one call yeah. i i heard about you know a lady that was you know called up asking if if they could cook the turkey in a in a hot tub oh really in a hot tub, that's fucking crazy. But I've got an, an article here. I'm not even going to read the article. I'm just going to show you the headline and the picture, and you'll be happy. That's all we need. Here you go. Right here. Florida man admits <laughs> a miniature <laughs> pony, Sheriff says. Oh, he, admits. he admits it. I fucked that pony. He was proud of it. <laughs> He was proud of it. Apparently, I will read some of it. It says, The Marion County Sheriff's Office arrested 21-year-old Nicholas Anthony Sardaw of Citra. Witnesses said they saw Sardaw having sex. He, he was with, there was witnesses. Thanks for the miniature pony named Jackie G. Last month, the Sheriff's Office said, Sado, according to deputies, admitted to having sex with the miniature pony four times. The pony is owned by a relative. Not once. Well, as as, oh, as double times. double not six space asked, does that make that pony a brony? Ah, <laughs> clever! <laughs> it makes it a cum brony. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. We got Matt call. Matt call. Ain't seen you in a while, homie. How you doing? You're on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> you hadn't been here, but now you got to pretend. Now you're on the clock. Andy Levelope, 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 what is that? Le fuck you. He said, hello, John. How dare you dox me like that when it's the first time. <laughs> In the description, it says John Crawley. How dare you say that, you bastard. Yeah, next thing, someone will reveal what state you live in. Yeah, you know, I don't live in Mississippi, which I've talked about many times. Uh, I'll never forget that one dude. He came up in LA. Hey, his name is George Crawley. And one of the viewers said, Yeah, it's in his about me page, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> he went through all the work to dock me, and he fucking just could have read my about me page. He felt so proud. Why'd you take it away from him? Yeah, it's so stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, the dachshund's dumb anyway. But, you know. Damn it. It's a crummy, crummy little bullshit thing. Crummy, crummy little bullshit. What has we got going on here? Okay, let me check the wish list. I haven't checked the wish list yet. See if it, nope, nobody's bought anything. Fucking fags. <laughs> hey, how come Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia are not just one state? Because they're different states? So here's a dumb thing I was reading about is that the, you know, the Kleenex... Um, brand which lost their trademark in my opinion because clean it's generic but but they had a particular thing uh product called man-sized tissues and these people <laughs> complained that it was you know gender shaming and you know that the, the, there was gender bias and so they gender shamed Kleenex into rebranding re its man-sized tissues <laughs> damn 
Who gives a fuck? It's a <laughs> it's something you blow your nose in. I, I just, I, I, you're talking about <laughs> stupid stuff. You know, that's that um, is pretty stupid. I had some tissues, but porn took them away. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was a sticky situation. Uh, man, so man sized that is such a. Yes. Fucking tissue. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> exactly. Find something real to complain about, right? That's the problem. Uh, they want it to be worse than it is for some reason. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Here's a here's a fun story. Dozens killed after explosion in Hall and Cabal. <laughs> Pretty fun. Yay! 40 killed and 60 wounded taken to all hospitals after an explosion happened inside a wedding hall in Cabal says the Ministry of Public Health. Well, that was, yeah, that wife did not like her groom. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fucked up, though. Many people died. I hate this shit. What does it got here? Let's see. I'm looking for some good shit. So, so there's the there's a thing as in uh, that you know about that happened in Louisiana recently. Where he was confused, accused of doing a bomb threat, but he insists he just had to poop really bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Do you know about this thing? And it's this guy, because um, he 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 basically told his employee, "I said y'all be about to close right now because I'm going to get a bomb and blow this place up, right?" Yeah, and, and essentially he was sort of. He claimed he was basically saying, you know, I just it was it was poised to 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 to, to dump his drawers, and uh, they took it as a serious serious yeah. bomb threat. That is crazy. So his bomb was his shit. Well, they said the employees said he never mentioned the actual bathroom oh. and his threat, and they said, but you know, he's he was just like, you know, he was trying to be. It probably was drunk too. <laughs> <laughs> probably, I mean, but if he didn't say, "I'm talking about my poop," then I would probably took that as a threat too. <laughs> you're gonna do what? You're gonna do, you're gonna blow us up with the poop poop. And of course, you know, there's the there's there was that Mississippi man that crashed his truck into the car at the courthouse. No, I haven't heard about you know, that. that. That that thing. As a man arrested after it drove his pickup into a courthouse in Mississippi, news has reported this is Gulfport Police Department. Um, 20 year old man intentionally crashed into the courthouse. Said it was the best way to let them know his drug paraphernalia had been stolen. Oh my God. <laughs> no one was hurt. Oh, Mississippi. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I'm to defend your ass, but you go and go do something like that. That was November 13th, yes. Got to happen in Mississippi. What the fuck? Someone stole his, his drug stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess they learned about this sort of thing. Dude, that is so fucked up. <laughs> Never mind. There's some dumbass people out there. One of the funniest episodes of Cops I've ever seen was when the dude asked him, did he smoke marijuana? He said, no, sir. He said, are you sure you don't smoke marijuana? The guy's like, I promise you, sir, I do not smoke marijuana. He said, what's this? And pulled a joint out behind his ear. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, you got a motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's so dumb. So dumb. Who blew up the bathroom? That probably has it. Yeah. yeah. Rock himself that he said, I'm going to drop a bomb in the bathroom. In the moment. So, um, anyway, I'm about ready to have to uh, to leave here because uh, they're going to say they have to do a new uh, a new meeting here. So, um, oh, yeah. Tell them to go fuck themselves. I'm joking. <laughs> Alan, we're actually, nice people. Yeah, we're and, and anyone might be to participate, but you want you, please tip, click that like button, buy this man a gift, yeah. and uh, just remember uh, Cheney shoots. <laughs>
Watch your face when you're around Cheney. <laughs> Ciao. Bye-bye, bud. We're not going to go like a long, a lot longer anyway on here. Um, but we'll go a few more, a little bit more longer. Marshall, you still there, buddy? I have returned from the toilet. Did you drop a bomb? Yeah, dude. I And you know what? I already know what you're referencing because I saw that story in the news. And that's what <laughs> <laughs> he knew it. Drop a bomb on me, baby. You dropped a bow. You got to turn me. Oh, no. I, I went too deep. I went too deep. <laughs> I almost went there. Frank, you got, you, you got to stop me, Frank, or I'll go over the edge, man. You got to go over the edge sometimes. I'll cross the line there, Frankie Frank. <laughs> How many times in your life have you been called Frank the Tank? Actually, I get called that at work. I imagine so. <laughs> so. I get called... Honey bun, pussy lover. I do not get called that ever. In my life. Call you boo boo kitty fuck. Off camera for a second because I gotta blow my fucking nose. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a massive one. It's gonna be a damn hurricane coming out my nostrils. You guys want some ASMR? Here you go. ASMR. <laughs> you feel that tingling in your head? You feel it, don't you? I do. Oh, that's a bugger. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta rewipe here. So give me a second. <laughs> I just ejaculated from my nose. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> huh. skeet. I think I'm all right now. Are you sure? Oh, ski, ski, motherfucker! To the window and the wall. To the sweat out down my ball. All oh, you bitches crawl. Oh, ski, ski, motherfucker. See, you let me cross the line again. That was All really right. late hypothesis. I mentioned Aquaman <laughs> Lamb like forever ago. But to answer your question, <laughs> yeah, I guess the animated uh, universe is Aquaman was all right. It's probably the closest I've seen to an Aquaman I like. I've seen a trailer to a Spider Man cartoon or something the other day where the, they're going to make a little black kid. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, hey. It's a uh, fuck. What is it? It's a new one. Um, Spider Verse or something like that. Yeah, Miles Morales. Like after Peter Parker dies, this black kid named Miles becomes Spider Man. He's pretty cool. I don't like it. African like Americans should not be taking over our heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker, Peter's dead. What you want? Those fuckers not have imagination of their own. They got still on <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't give a shit. <laughs> So you you pass out, come back, and you're like, you know what? I can't let this shit slide. I gotta mention the fucking Aquaman from the <laughs> universe. <laughs> but here is my thing about all this shit, though. Look, people want, people want like women, and like, they're turning all the white ca men characters into women or black people. Why? Why don't you just create characters? Yeah. Well, it's the only thing I I understand. I don't have a problem with the Miles thing is. Miles, I think that was done a little bit before they started flipping all the fucking characters, races, and genders and shit. And I feel like he's actually a genuinely good character. But like the the perfect example is the Thor being a woman thing. Like that's fucking retarded. Yeah, that's stupid. I think they did that before, like a long time ago. I can't remember. I just I don't I don't understand. Like then they made a they made Iron Man like a young black girl, like a like a oh, teenager. Oh no, yeah, right. And uh, you know they, what they did to Doctor Who, right? They made Doctor Who. Dude, I'm not so, a fan. And then, but there was this one person in the chat room arguing with Red Eye. It's gonna be good. It's, you know, it's a woman. Red Eye I was like, "It's a stupid idea." And then the person watched it and came back a couple days later. Red Eye, you were correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the new season of Doctor Who is not good. It's just not. There's a couple episodes where like, yeah, but for the most part, it just is mediocre. It sucks. Yeah, I've got like them recorded, new. but I haven't watched them. It's like the new season of House of Cards. I thought it was going to be good. I thought Robin Wright Penn was going to... Robin Wright now. Not Robin Wright Penn. It was just Robin Wright now. I thought she was going to be good without Kevin Spacey because, you know, they fired Kevin because of the whole sexual thing. But it sucked. It was horrible. It did. The show was based on Kevin. The Ke Kevin was Ke was what was carrying the show. Uh, I thought I thought it was going to work. I honestly thought this was one of them that was going to work and be good. But it was horrible. It was not good. Rip House of Cards, man. Paul went out. Yeah, it's it's done. It's done. It's done. It's not. It's not good. 
Um, it's done cute. I don't know, you know, the whole the thing about Kevin Spacey and that sexual stuff with that young dude or whatever. I mean, you can't deny the guy's a good fucking actor. See, yeah, that's the thing. Like Michael Jackson could have been a kid diddler, but he's made some good ass music. <laughs> could have been my ass. He was a kid diddler. That boy's right. favorite Say he day was. They never caught nothing. His favorite no. day was when he got a fucking all day pass at Chuck E. Cheese. That was Michael Jackson's happy day. They That's never caught him. What it was all about? He beat those little kids wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Jean was a ten-year-old boy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, Michael Jackson can sing his ass off. Ain't no doubt about that. Yeah. He was talented. It's like you know Bill Cosby, rapist. Yeah. He's yeah. still a funny, motherfucker. <laughs> Hilarious. Some of the he's one of the best stand-up comedians of all time. You can never take that from him. Stand-up comedian is definitely the best clean stand-up comedian. For sure, for sure. Uh, I think I think there's some better comedians, but he was like one of the best clean. But in my opinion, dirty comedians are funnier. They just are blue collar comedian. Yeah. They just, they just you know people who want to push the envelope a little bit. I like, but I enjoyed the Cosby Show. Dude. I used to like it, but you know, yeah. He is it feels a weird now. I can't watch the Cosby show anymore. I, I can watch his stand up, but I can't watch the Cosby show. <laughs> didn't Michael's accuse one of them said that, but that all of them didn't. He had several accusers. I think one of them was actually trying to go like the mother was trying to go after Jay Leno at one point. Wasn't she? Yeah, I mean there was yeah, there was some bad stuff in there, but I you would not make me you would not make me believe for one second that Michael Jackson never did touch a ten year old's balls. You gonna make me not believe? <laughs> uh, I believe well, I mean, he was ten years old and he touched his balls. No, no, I'm serious. No, I, I mean that's funny, but I'm like, I'm look, I'm 41. But we'll be 41 in eight days. I ain't sleeping with no fucking children. <laughs> I've always said that. At the very least, he was very inappropriate with kids. You should never be sleeping with someone else's kids, and it's he so openly weird. admitted to that. And, and it's so fucking weird. It's just it's weird not man, fun. good singer. Yeah, he's a good singer. He's also he he like but fucking five year old. God, <laughs> he was rough, man. The clip of MJ holding the baby out the window was gold. That was his uh, son, dude. Yeah, that was yeah. the son. He did that. That was blanket. He dangled his son over a balcony. No, blanket. That's ignorant. Yeah, that was crazy too. Like <laughs> one little slip, he squished. <laughs> that fuckers are great, man. <laughs> uh, by the way, got a y'all need a tip. If you're liking the show, please throw a little money my way. Link in the description below. Sure, if I have a mod in the room, they'll share the link. Also, 28 days of Pema, Amazon wish list. It's in the description. I'm sure, the mod can share that as well. I appreciate it if you contribute. It means a lot. And also tomorrow, Marshall's going to be joining me again. Frank, can you make it? Uh, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Actually, fuck you! Yeah. I'm a fucking best. You told me <laughs> any day next week, any day. You uh, see? Yeah. Well, I any forgot day. this week was fucking, dude. I can't keep up with times. I forgot this week was Thanksgiving week. Motherfucker, you said any day. God damn. I'll time. drink in your honor. All right. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> When's your birthday, Pimp? In eight days, actually. Next eight week. days. Next Wednesday. If you don't buy my gifts today, Black Friday, Friday. <laughs> but I, honestly, if you're going to go Black Friday, you're crazy because you just do it online. But I understand why people do it because. A lot of families are, you know, low income and they get deals on kids, gifts and shit. So I understand why people do it, but it's crazy. Yeah, I ain't trying to get killed over an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, it's fuck crazy, that shit. Bro. It's, it's fucking insane. Um, Marilyn, I, don't go, uh, I do Monday. Waving at Marilyn Mathers. I haven't said hi to her today. How you doing, sweetheart? You know, I, I'm not flirting or nothing. I'm just saying hi. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you were flirting. You know, I'm actually pissed. I think you yeah. need to apologize right now for being. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry I said hi. I meant to say let's have sex. That's a little more respectful. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, we all forgot. Uh, I'm noticing some of the people. We got frustrated atheists. What the fuck are you so frustrated about? 
are you constipated? Is it sexual? Like, what's the deal? <laughs> Why are you so angry? Don't be angry, nigga. It's a good day. <laughs> Why, why, why are you so mad all the time? Y'all making me go in straight up pimp up mode this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Man, said, hey, I'm good, pimp. How are you, pimp? She said, pimp two times in one sentence. <laughs> pimp, 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 pimp. I'm the pimp, pimp, walking around with that gangster limp, doing that thing like I only can because I'm a badass white southern man. I got my penis in my hand, screaming, hey, girl, come here and let me fuck up your world. Oh, yeah. She is 18 and I'm 20. Hypothesis. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. She was 10. Fuck her, dude. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry, you two guys. I just... <laughs> Man, this was a good stream. I don't want to lose it, dude. I was just playing. <laughs> I just love your name, Pimp Pimp. Okay. <laughs> pimp, pimp. Go to my Twitter and you will figure out why I ain't going to your goddamn Twitter. <laughs> I'm lazy. He's he's fr he's frustrated because he watched uh Wild Bill episodes, so oh that's why he's frustrated. Wild Bill of America. Wild Bill's a fucking idiot. I think Wild Bill just came out as a MGTOW and an incel just with his last couple of videos. Yeah, he was like, he was like, he was bashing about couples, about, about people being in a relationship. You know what I like to do? I like to go home and be by myself. No. I don't need a relationship. And I was like, did he just come out as a MGTOW and an incel? Like, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure what the fuck happened. I wouldn't exactly. mind if Wild Bill gave me a mustache right <laughs> <laughs> Tickle my, tick my balls with that big old stash. He's so gross to me. He, he's always kind of gross me out. I don't know why. <laughs> he's fucking retarded. What are you? I mean, the dude is so annoying. <laughs> he, is. he wants to act like he's this fucking genius, man. He wants to act like he knows so much more than everybody. And I'm like, this shit just coming out your mouth ain't right. I mean, I'm on. Yeah, damn, dog. Come on, seriously. You, what you just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I think while Bill has been on the front of the Hillary Clinton emails thing, I wonder if he's gonna say anything about Ivanka Trump. Ivanka, I want a Ivanka. I fuck a Ivanka. <laughs> my junker in the Ivanka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a goofy ass mood today, man. I really am. I feel so sorry for Landon. Well, go. Dude, that shit was I dude. You guys <laughs> laughing and you start laughing, and I was like choking while he's trying to tell us something. I felt bad. He was talking so straight, and I lost my shit. <laughs> Let me talk. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. That was funny. It was funny. It's just the way you said that. He yeah, yeah. Shot him in the face. I <laughs> forgot <laughs> talking about that. And you were still reading on that shit, I guess. I, I saw it come early. Bill Hicks said he shot him in the face. I couldn't believe that shit. A <laughs> vice president shot a motherfucker in the face while hunting. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Yeah, let me read this from the trap. Tra tra let me read it from the trap. Uh, well, pimp. If I were to sum it up, people don't understand what doxing is, and I had to constantly explain it. Yeah, people do have a fucked up definition of doxing. They think if you give somebody's name, it's actually doxing. That's not really doxing. I actually had someone try to say that they were they were trying to accuse us of doxing because uh, some guy was uh, took a screenshot of a public Discord mm -hmm. and shared it on Twitter. And it was the Red Pill Religion Group. Uh, yeah. So if that gives you any indication where it came from, <laughs> it, and they were like, "Yeah, they, they were going around trying to dot us," and I'm like, "How's that fucking dotsing, you idiot?" Oh, I was hyperbolizing. I was like, "How the fuck do you hyperbolize dotsing? That doesn't even make yeah. sense." Right? Like, you don't know what hyperbolizing means. <laughs> it's like, get the fuck out of here. Hyperbolize is like if I say I'm gonna throw a two by four through your throat. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually throw a two by four through your fucking throat. <laughs> it's just uh, people don't people are so stupid though, man. They take everything like I was talking to my stepsister this morning. She she was laughing about the video I did a while a long time ago called Trump is Jesus, and then this website 
an African American created website got a hold of it saying I was a racist and <laughs> talking, talking about about shit. From Jesus and shit. And that was funny it went fuck. viral. It went viral because of it. And I'm like, and, and they only showed a, like a small clip of it. Mm-hmm. And, and they didn't show the whole video where there was bloopers at the end of the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just people are so fucking stupid. Didn't you do a video on um something about like fat shaming or like uh, uh health and, and then and then it went uh it blew up on World Star, didn't it? Yeah, it, it was it was very it was very popular. It was the front page of Reddit and it was on World on World Star Hip Hop. God damn it! Yeah, it was it was, but it wasn't a funny video. It was a serious, more serious video. And yeah, yeah. It, it, for some reason, it's people, always the shit you don't expect. It like. Yeah. Fucking salty Paul. Like I never thought that shit would do it. Again. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was just yeah. I mean, I've had a few videos get wrong, but you know, like we were talking about this today. Marshall knows because he's been a fan for a while. For a minute there, before YouTube went retarded, I was red fucking hot. Oh yeah, dude. I remember you were everywhere. I was growing like a motherfucker, dude. And I mean, it was crazy because I I would open up a stream and I'd have seventy five to hundred people just waiting. I fucking I used to love your streams, the private streams, dude. Like yeah. all those were so much fun. And I can't do them no more because I get I actually got fucking banned on one of those for doing one of those fucking uh, streams. My private streams were the best. They really were. I mean, way I had naked people, I had people sticking things in the anus areas. It was I, had, awesome. I, had all kinds of <laughs> I had a fucking transgender put a goddamn um, Virgin Mary candle in her boho. I remember that oh, shit, shit, dude. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. <laughs> Where else could you get that kind of debauchery? That's beautiful. It was awesome, you know. We it was awesome. And I'm gonna find a, where I can do it again and have people come. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, pretty fun shit. Uh, you used to call them paper pimp shows. Yeah, yeah. That's what they were called. You know, you pay a small fee and you get access to the show. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I was like a dollar patron, and I got them. Yeah, it was they were cool. hella fun. Hello, fun, but we're gonna we're gonna figure out how to do that again. We are, but let's see what chat's got to say. Damn, I'm mad I missed it. Hey, it's it's it'll come back. It'll be back. It was a good stream. Yeah, it was good good stream. Brian J up in there. How you doing? That's one of that's, that's a very intelligent. I'm about to get him on the show. Brian, you want to be on the show tomorrow? Hell yeah. I need guests for tomorrow anyway. So. Tomorrow's the last show of the week. Uh, no Thanksgiving show and no Friday show. I'm thinking actually about canceling all Friday shows and have an occasional Friday show. Um, you know, ever so often do a Friday show. And, uh, what what wrestling brutal could you relate to? Be- oh, Beerio. Beerio? What? What is he saying? What wrestling? Burial? Burial? The Undertaker, maybe? Um, I don't understand that question. <laughs> I don't know. You have a mixed co-worker that has so good black ad- attributes like running or jumping. What the fuck are these people talking about? Or robbing. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Can you do what did you? Oh, okay. Are uh, still recovering from surgery last month, so it all depends on pain. But a provisional... Okay, well, that's okay. I understand. If not, you know, I mean, Marshall are going to handle it together. You know, I've done it. I thought you could relate to some rasters. I guess. <laughs> uh, Animus was going to be there, ain't he? Yeah, he can be. Yeah, he might be. Did I book him for tomorrow? He said in the chat he was going to be there. Oh, okay. I'll book him. Yeah, he can come. Fuck yeah. <laughs> He's gay as fuck, dude. What do you call him? <laughs> Corpse beat it? Corpse beat it is what I yeah. call him. Cause he looks like the Michael corpse of Michael Jackson. So I got him corpse beat it. <laughs> I started out on fucking D uh, on tap and fucking Ben loved that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyways, oh, I'm about to cough here. <clears throat> Squat and cough, sir. Okay, I don't know if I can do that tonight. I thought it was tomorrow. The Jimmy Door. He wants me to do the Jimmy Door show tonight. I thought it was tomorrow. Fuck. I don't know if I can do that. You're a sweet. 
It's Tennessee whiskey. Corpse beat it. Corpse midget, though. Okay. Yeah, that's why I kind of got that off of the corpse midget thing. It just made him corpse beat it, but that's all right. It's all right. We'll see if we get any more tips. We need more tips, guys. Y'all need to tip a little bit more before I leave. I'm putting you on the clock, every last fucking one of you. But tip. Little... tip like a tipper does. Act like I'm a stripper and start, and you be the tipper. Bit on Jimmy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the Jimmy Dore show tonight because I do have, I don't know. I, I, I have family here right now. And I, it's going to be difficult, but we'll see. Sweet strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. And I stay stoned on your love all the time. Yes, I do. Anyways. Frustrated atheist knows where I'm coming from. Content ID. <laughs> Can you imagine if it got that bad to where <laughs> they could detect if you just sang a copyrighted song and fucking content ID your ass? Uh, that would be bad. I they, feel like just one dude, day. Dude, they that actually happened. done that to a uh, friend of mine. You're uh, shitting she, me. No, yeah, she just sung it. Just, it no, nothing in the background. She just sung the lyrics and bam. You're got a shitting me, dude. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> She's done it like a couple times and it's just copy id if you sing it incredibly like the actual song or oh, I, I mean she's a really good singer but i don't think she sung it just like the song See, that's just... that's unreal that's fucking crazy yeah that is fucking crazy it's happened to you too he uh animator said well fuck dude they better not get me for that shit i'll be mad on a son bitch <laughs> You can't even just bullshit around and sing a song anymore. Fuck YouTube. Susan, I really hate you. You're a disgusting cunt. I can smell you from here. Yeah. Go smell it. Her, her coach smells like the devil's farts. I don't know. I was going to say patchouli, but okay. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know. Smells like the corpse of Ronald Reagan. I don't know why I said that either. That's just funny. <laughs> I'm a little weird. So anyways, I don't think there's no more tips coming in. And we're probably going to end this show because, well, I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's been fun. I, I Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for having me. I missed it. Yeah, yeah thanks for having me. On. Good show this morning. Very good show. I need to work on a thumbnail later, but or maybe I get animated to create one or something. Just have Chaney shooting somebody in the face. <laughs> yeah, dude. it's got Dick Cheney on it. Yeah, it's got yeah, have Dick Cheney on it shooting somebody in the face. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for the tips that I did get. I appreciate you. Uh, catch you tomorrow, man. Later. Keep the wood up. Later.